sahabat putri and Indonesian pageant lovers, welcome to Ask for Her Challenge where we will get to know each and every finalist of Putri Indonesia 2022 personally. I am Putoi Saraswati, Putri Indonesia Lingkungan 2020 and I will be your host for today's episode of Ask for Her Challenge. In this challenge, finalists will have the chance to show their public speaking skills while answering to the questions that we have tailored specifically for them. Without further ado, let's get to know the finalists from group number four. First finalist, we have Anisha Putri Soraya from Riau. Hi Soraya. Hai Kak Aisa, hai semuanya. Perkenalkan sebelumnya, nama saya Anisha Putri Soraya, usia saya saat ini 19 tahun. Saya adalah Putri Indonesia, perwakilan dari Riau tahun 2022. Saat ini saya seorang mahasiswi sastra Indonesia di salah satu universitas yang ada di Indonesia. Saya saat ini aktif di kegiatan sosial yaitu membantu para anak-anak kurang beruntung yang ada di Riau. Kita di sini mulai dari bantu makanan atau tunjangan pendidikan dan sebagainya. Saya adalah orang yang selalu bersemangat tentang apapun dan saya tidak akan pernah menyerah dengan apapun. Terima kasih, Kak. Thank you Soraya for the lovely introduction. Next we have Saira Saima from DKI Jakarta 2. Yes, I'm really happy to have this moment to share with you guys. So, my name is Saira Saima. You can just call me Saira. I'm 25 years old. I'm a bachelor of psychology. So, I love to learn about human beings since I was a kid. And up until today, I contribute myself with several mental health institutions and also working with many of psychologists out there to teach people about mental health and also to love themselves. That's the most important thing that I think I need to deliver to everyone right on this moment and also with the patient that I really love the most, which is Putri Indonesia. Such a beautiful cause. Thank you for the introduction. Um, up next, we have Adinda Kresheila from Jawa Timur. Hi, Dinda. Hi, Kaisa. How are you? I hope you're doing well. And by the way, from Jawa Timur, we are very known for our culinary destinations. But beside that, I hope Kak Ayusa and other friends can also visit Jawa Timur and see how the women empowerment communities has progressed in Jawa Timur. Such as my advocacy, Better Equal, we have initiated in back in 2020, but now our communities have reached up to 100 uh, members. So we have empowered and give a local workshops for the local business in Jawa Timur. I hope Kak Ayusa and other girls could see how women empowerment and women leadership is very known in Jawa Timur. Thank you, Kak. Thank you, Dinda. I look forward to coming to Jawa Timur and with witness that in person. Number four, we have Magiana Ignacia from Kalimantan Timur. Hi, Magiana. Hi, Kak Ayusa. Nice to meet you virtually. Hope you have a good day. I am Gina Sinaga. I'm Magiana Ignacia from Kalimantan Timur. And I'm so happy today because I can talk and meet with all the strong ladies here. Right now, I'm a Bachelor of Psychology from Universitas Indonesia and I'm working as a people analyst, as a dancer, public speaker, mental health advocate, and also as a content creator. And I'm a founder of Wellness Worthy Mental Wellbeing Platform. I built it from scratch with all my passion and we're empowering about physical, mental, and spiritual health among people. And I hope we all guys can live in balanced life in holistic wellness every day. Thank you. Thank you, Magiana. That was inspirational. And last but not least, we have Jaswin Ka Dilon from Maluku. Hi, Jaswin. Hi, Kak Ayusa. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm Jason Cordillon, Putri Indonesia Maluku 2022. I am 23 years old, an interior design bachelor by trade. Moreover, I am also a social activist and an entrepreneur. I am an Indonesian and Indian descent. Therefore, we've grown in a very, very big families. 
I mean, we're celebrating Diwali, we're celebrating the Chinese New Year, we're celebrating the Eid and the other feast day. It is very exciting and it has taught me a lot about having tolerance on other religions and also appreciating the differences. Meanwhile, I just got back from Maluku. Uh, I did a few social projects in there and also went for traveling as well. It was very beautiful. Uh, the nature, the culture, the people, the beaches in Maluku, everything was so beautiful and so diverse. And maybe I hope that you want to come there to Maluku maybe at any time or I can take you there if you want. Thank you, super excited. Take me to Maluku sometimes. All right, now that we have known our group of ladies for today's Ask For Her challenge, it is time to ask them the question. Ladies, are you ready? And I wish you the best of luck. First question is for Riau. So Riau, what is your purpose in life and how is being at Pemilihan Putri Indonesia help you pursue that goal. Apa sih tujuan hidup kamu dan bagaimana pemilihan Putri Indonesia dapat membantu kamu mewujudkan mimpi dan tujuan tersebut? Baik, terima kasih Kak. Tujuan hidup saya adalah saya ingin membahagiakan orang-orang terdekat saya, membahagiakan keluarga saya, dan berada di mana tempat saya dihargai dan dianggap. Dan ketika saya menjadi bagian dari Putri Indonesia, saya merasa bahwa saya telah mewujudkan tujuan hidup saya. Terima kasih. Terima kasih, Ria. What a beautiful answer. Next question we have is for DKI Jakarta 2. So, DKI Jakarta 2, gender equality has become the main concern of global citizens as well as becoming the sustainable development goal for developing countries. For you, what does it mean by equality here? Kesetaraan gender telah menjadi perhatian utama warga dunia sekaligus menjadi tujuan pembangunan berkelanjutan bagi negara-negara berkembang. Nah, bagi kamu, apa yang dimaksud dengan kesetaraan di sini? Okay, thank you for the question. So, equality been taught so many times and we've been hearing it for so long. It's been discussed over centuries, I guess. And for gender equality, I believe as a woman and man, we can stand together and get the same treatment from our society and also from our government. Gender equality is not only being a feminist, but it's also being put in the same line together. We can get the same treatments because we, in the end, is human being and human beings should treat one another as humanity in between one and have kindness towards one another. And I believe equality is something that we need to fight for, not until today, but also in the future, because our younger generations also needs to understand how important it is for the previous generations to maintain the gender equality that we are having today and also for the next generations as well. Thank you. Thank you, Saira. Okay, the next question we have is for Jawa Timur. Jawa Timur, cyberbullying is a form of freedom of speech. Do you agree with that statement? Why or why not? Perundungan siber merupakan bentuk dari kebebasan berpendapat. Apakah kamu setuju dengan statement tersebut dan mengapa? For me, cyberbullying is a form of freedom of speech. But how do we manage the comments and the other things that we throw on our social media is what decide our ethical and our ethics. Hence, for me, cyberbullying is one of the way that we can decrease and we can minimize in our culture and social media. As Putri Indonesia Jawa Timur 2022, I hope by being a Putri Indonesia, I can help to educate how cyber cyberbullying is not only bad for our culture, but it's also affecting the mental health towards the users. Therefore, I hope by being a Putri Indonesia, we can give more contribution and educate how cyberbullying should not be tolerated. Thank you. Thank you, Jawa Timur. The next question is for Kalimantan Timur. 
What is one quality that you have? It's upper hand among the rest of the participants. Apa satu kualitas yang menjadi kelebihan kamu dibandingkan dengan para peserta PPI lain? I believe one of the qualities I had here to do my competition in Putri Indonesia is sincerity. I'm sitting right here speaking to you all guys that right now I'm not just competing but I'm fulfilling my life mission, I am reaching my self-actualization and I'm spreading my vision and my mission to all the people out there about mental health, about physical and spiritual wellness as well. That this time people really need it in this moment where all of the people in this world spreading hat, spreading negativity, I believe that we can grow, we can improve ourselves to do better, to actualize our vision, and of course, to be kind to everyone. As Mother Teresa said, if we judge people, we have no time to love. And with this message, I want to spread all the people out there to be ourselves, to be kinder to anyone because we never know what other people facing in their life right now but the easiest thing we can do is to be kind to everyone so not just competing but be kind with all of the people surrounding me here in Putri Indonesia all of the helpful person in here and of course to grow myself within thank you thank you so much Hina Next question we have is for Maluku. What is one quote that you still hold on to up to these days? Ungkapan apa yang masih sangat kamu pegang sampai sekarang? Salah satu quote yang sampai saat ini saya masih berpegang teguh itu adalah quote mengenai usaha tidak akan pernah mengkhianati hasil. Saya percaya kalau uh, jika kita berusaha keras, kita pantang menyerah, kita terus berusaha mau melewati halangan dan rintangan apapun itu, itu merupakan uh, bumbu-bumbu dari usaha kita. Jadi saya percaya hasil yang manis itu pastinya akan melewati um, usaha yang besar. Jadi usaha tidak akan pernah mengkhianati hasil. Terima kasih. Thank you Maluku, amen to that. Bila imun tubuh prima, badan tetap sehat. Tapi kalau terlalu lelah, imun tubuh dapat menurun. Stres, imun turun lagi. Nutrisi tidak terjaga, turun lagi. <tuh> Bantu jaga imun tubuh tetap prima. Dengan ramuan alami, akar manis, jahe emprit, daun jambu mete, meniran, dan sambiloto. Herba Muno Plus. Minum Herba Muno Plus. Rasa perhasia empu jamu BRA Muryati Sudibio. Herba Muno Plus. Bantu jaga imun tubuh tetap prima. Dari Mustika Ratu. Yuk ikut keseharian aku di Polan. series by Mustika Ratu Makeup with Skincare Benefits Hai sahabat putri and pageant lovers Welcome back to Ask For Her Challenge Alright, it's time for questions part 2 for our ladies First off, we have Rio And your question is What is one value that your family has taught you that you still hold on to up until today. Apa satu hal yang diajarkan oleh keluargamu yang masih kamu pegang teguh hingga sekarang? Terima kasih, Kak. Satu hal yang saya selalu pegang teguh hingga saat ini, 
sejak kecil orang tua saya selalu mengatakan kepada saya bahwa kita harus bersyukur atas apapun yang kita peroleh. Baik itu hal buruk atau hal baik, kita harus tetap bersyukur. Karena ketika kita mengeluh, akan timbul masalah-masalah lainnya di dalam hidup ini. Terima kasih, Kak. Thank you so much. The next question is for DKI Jakarta 2. Your question is, what is one women's issue that no one talks about but needs to be addressed? Sebutkan satu permasalahan yang kerap dihadapi wanita dan tidak banyak diperbincangkan namun perlu untuk ditindaklanjuti. Okay. For me, it's a reproductive health. The way we maintain our reproductive health been discussed for so long but no one really pays attention so much for this issue. For long, reproductive health been a taboo issue, especially in rural area, also in Indonesia. When actually, as a woman, we need to take care of our health, and it's also including our reproductive health. When we get period, pregnancy process, and then becoming a mother, there are certain ways of things that happening inside of our body. Actually, our body is the most magical and very big thing in this life because without our body, woman's body can bore a child and something that magical that I always admire from my mother. That's why I think as a woman, we need to protect our health. And the most important thing, we also need how to protect our reproductive health by maintaining our hygiene and also the productive process. Thank you. The next question is for Jawa Timur. Fairy tale and folklore is a daily story containing lesson learned, which closely related to the process of how children learn the concept of beauty and kindness through fantasy or better yet, tradition. Do you think the content of fairy tales nowadays is still relevant to be given to the children? Why or why not? Dongeng dan cerita rakyat adalah cerita sehari-hari yang mengandung pelajaran yang berkaitan erat dengan proses bagaimana anak-anak belajar tentang konsep kecantikan dan kebaikan melalui fantasi atau lebih baik lagi tradisi. Menurut Anda, apakah isi dongeng dan cerita rakyat saat ini masih relevan untuk diberikan kepada anak-anak? Mengapa atau mengapa tidak? Thank you for the question, Kak Ayusa. For me, it... Our recent fairy tales nowadays is still, some of them is still very relatable to what our issue is having here, such as beauty, tradition, and other stuff like heritage. But however, what we need to solve here is that the media alliteration, how we choose for the kids to watch and how we filter those news and those um, fairy tales or other kinds of um, animation that we give to the younger generation. Therefore, it is very important for us to have a media literacy so we can have a proper and implementation that we can give to the younger generation. The kids, they are as well as, they are very fast learning and they are very good in um, copying our behavior. So if we are doing the media literacy, I hope we can give a factual and reliable habit to our gen young, younger generations. With, with that being said, I hope with our nowadays, the folklore and the fairy tales, I hope the younger generations can still learn and have a positive impact from them and still learn how beauty, how tradition and how heritage is very, indeed, very important to, for them to growing up. Thank you. Thank you, Jawa Timur. The next question is for Kalimantan Timur. Your question is, what are some habits that everyone needs to develop in order to successfully achieve any goal? Kebiasaan-kebiasaan apa saja yang harus kita kembangkan untuk dapat mencapai segala keinginan atau harapan yang kita impikan? We're living in a world where everyone wants an instant process. But I'm here right now believe that instant is not always good and the process itself, the long process that we've going through is something that we need to represent ourselves and to fill it with our food. And with here, I believe that everyone should accomplish a habit to be strong and resilient during every challenge they face. 
when we fail it's just another situation just take it as a situation and then move back and stand up do your thing again don't never stop to challenge yourself as a father of psychology humanistic psychology abraham maslow once said he is one of my inspiration too in any given moment we always have two options either to step back into safety or to move forward into growth but here i believe that we human being has the capabilities and capacities to challenge ourselves more to push ourselves into growth and never get back into safety so choose the habit to grow yourself to develop yourself even more thank you thank you so much that was beautiful the next question is for maluku your question is what is something about you that you wish other people should know more apa satu hal dari diri kamu yang kamu harap semua orang seharusnya lebih tahu Baik, mungkin gak hanya satu hal aja, tapi akan ada tiga hal yang uh, ingin Jasmine sampaikan. Dan mungkin sekalian bisa uh, untuk di-share ke teman-teman juga. Ini ada beberapa hal yang mungkin uh, teman-teman belum tahu mengenai Jasmine. Dan Jasmine berusaha untuk menjadi orang tersebut. Jadi Jasmine selalu berusaha untuk berdiri di tiga tempat. Di depan, di tengah, dan juga di belakang. Di depan untuk memberikan teladan, di tengah untuk uh, memberikan kekuatan, dan juga terus berkarya dan di belakang untuk memberikan dorongan jadi jika seorang wanita bisa berdiri di tiga tempat tersebut bisa dikatakan wanita itu adalah wanita yang berdaya dan Jaswin uh, selalu berusaha untuk menjadi orang tersebut dan Jaswin harap uh, teman-teman juga bisa menjadi uh, wanita yang berdaya dengan menunaikan tiga hal tersebut terima kasih thank you maluku Sahabat Putri and pageant lovers, we have come to the end of Ask For Her Challenge for Group 4 today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next episode. Bye everyone, bye Putri!